Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome to another notification blow. Um, it's been a while since I've done a video. I guess it's because I don't do the fight of the weeks right now. It feels like it's been forever. So hopefully you guys are doing really good. Um, my week has been crazy, but I'm sure you guys know that already. Uh, a lot of things I want to talk about and a couple other topics I want to touch on. So let's just dive into things, shall we? Kicking off the week, we had some trailers for Once Upon a Time in Shanghai, Android Cop, and Police Story 2013. Now, I'm going to go ahead and talk about Once Upon a Time in Shanghai first. That trailer looks awesome. I'm really excited for this movie. Um, when I first saw the teasers for it, I didn't think it was going to be really that great. But seeing the footage now, seeing the fight scene between uh, Philip and Andy has really opened my eyes to what type of choreography and what type of action they're really going for. And I think it's going to be amazing. If you have not seen it yet, definitely, definitely need to check out that trailer. I highly recommend it. I think... It's going to be a surprise hit. I think a lot of people are going to be caught off guard by that one. But at the same time, Android Cop does not look that good. Um, I don't know if it was just an older film that hasn't come out since uh, the cinematic quality of the CG. I don't know. It just doesn't look that great to me. Um, it just looks really cheesy. I feel like Michael Jai White's capable of doing a lot more. And it just comes off as just rushed and bare bones. It could be a great movie. I could be just totally wrong. Maybe he saw something in the script that I don't see yet. But right now, Android Cop does not look that great. I don't know. Let me got, let me know what you guys think about it. Because it's just, it's just one of those films that doesn't seem to hit it with me. Some people are excited about it. Some people are interested in it. I'm just not one of them. There's a film, though, that I am interested in. I'm sure you know about this. Police Story 2013. Got a new trailer, if you want to call it that, for the IMAX and 3D versions. Um, looks really good. Uh, I know I'm biased against Jackie, or biased for Jackie, I guess, as you would say. But the the 3D, I think, would be really cool when you see his face smashing into like glass or bottles or tables. Anything like that, which you see in the trailer. It seems like a cool idea to have that 3D effect going there. I'm not a proponent of 3D films. I've only seen two one of them was like two weeks ago. So I'm not a real big person on 3D, but with Jackie's creativity, I'm hoping that it's going to be something different. Unfortunately, I really doubt it's going to come to the States, but if you haven't checked it out yet, definitely check out that trailer and let me know what you think. All right, so next up, we had news that Tony Jaa is back in Thailand filming Skin Trade, or getting ready to film Skin Trade. Sorry, I can't talk. Now, Obviously, this is just Tony uh, working on other films while they figure out what they're going to do with Fast and Furious 7. I honestly don't know if he's going to be back on the set or not. I hope he is. Uh, he is a very busy man, so I don't know how his schedule is going to be. There's been talks of... <coughs> Sorry. My throat just decided to give up on me. There's been talks of um, the whole film being scrapped. There's been talks of... The film being uh, rewritten, redone. I've even seen some things where they said that Paul Walker's brother is going to stand in for him. I don't know exactly what's going to happen with that. But what I do know is that Tony is continuing on. And hopefully his scenes don't get cut. If they do, I really hope that they do like a DVD, extra features, deleted scenes, you know, something like that. So that we could see what Tony is capable of. I really hope Tony makes it to the big screen in Hollywood. And uh, hopefully this tragedy doesn't affect him career-wise. You know, it was a huge move for him to do this. And we saw the, the backlash uh, that it caused. So hopefully it was uh, not for nothing, I guess, as you would say. But at the same time, I understand things happen, life happens. You can't predict stuff like this uh, occurring. So it is what it is. But I just really hope that we get to see Tony back in action. Speaking of things being back in action, The Rundown. You guys remember that movie? It's forever ago. Like, I didn't realize how old it is, but it's actually pretty old now. It may be getting a sequel. Now, don't hold your breath on this. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. Just don't expect anything. I'm just saying that the director is interested in doing a sequel. Apparently, The Rock is interested in it as well. They're still working out the details. I think it's definitely doable. I feel like that film was set up for a sequel. Not necessarily a franchise, but it could have been a trilogy, I think. And hopefully they get Sean Scott back, but obviously he's doing uh, Skip Tracer with Jackie next. So it's going to be a while before we see anything about the rundown. I was actually thinking about rewatching it, but 
ended up watching a different film instead, but we'll get to that in a little bit. Um, but yeah, I just feel like uh, The Revenant 2 could be cool if they do it right. So I enjoyed the movie. I don't know how you guys thought about it, but I really thought The Rundown 2 was, or The Rundown, The Rundown 2, because I'm from the future. The Rundown was a great film, and that uh, you guys should check it out if you haven't seen it, or if it's been a while. Man, The Rock can go insane, especially the, the final sequences. Ah, oh, so good. So anyways, be sure to check that out. Speaking of awesome sequences and just terrible segues, The Raid <coughs> 2 is going to be at the Sundance Film Festival. Now, we all knew that The Raid was going to make an impact, and it's been at a bunch of different other festivals where they introduce different scenes and things like that, different characters, so it doesn't surprise me that's going to be at Sundance. I do know that there's going to be a trailer, like a full trailer, in January, which is what Gareth Evans was talking about. Now, if you follow that schedule... He's saying that the film should release in about March. I think that's going to be pretty accurate. I don't know if he has an exact date pinpointed yet, but it's going to be in March because the last one came out in March. Because I remember, I watched it on Easter. I watched The Raid for the first time in the theater on Easter. I actually watched it three times in the theaters. But hey, when you get a movie like that, you watch it as many times as you can, especially when it has a limited release. So I think it'll be out in March. Um... I don't know if it's going to be... It should be a pretty big release because it blew up really big when it first came out. But uh, I also did a Fast and Furious 7 update on that same article, but obviously I've already talked about what I know. Things are changing so fast. I don't honestly know for sure what's going to happen. They may scrap it. They may push it back. They, they're they going to miss their uh, summer release date for next year, of course. But I feel like it's totally acknowledged and people are okay with that. I hope that they give Paul Walker a proper send-off, which is going to be really hard to do. I'm not going to lie to you, you know, even from a writing perspective. Uh, because you have to take all the scenes that have been filmed and figure out a way to make them work. Because you know they don't shoot those in chronological order. They shoot them by locations that are available. So if they shot the first and the final scenes and they haven't done the middle part yet, it's going to be really hard to get him worked into the story. So we'll see how it goes. I, I'm really curious to see how they do it, you know creative minds i guess um it sounds really bad but you know because they rely on that same um what is it the same structure over and over again to have something like this really forces them to change it up so hopefully they do it in a very tasteful way but i'll let you guys know as soon as i find anything about out about that all right last one on the new side of things had a trailer for a movie called taekwondo damashi or uh taekwondo damashi if you want to call it that but it's a Japanese martial arts film, and it looks okay. It looks good. Um, I feel like Japanese cinema right now is trying to find the one martial art they're good at. You know, you had uh, High Kick Girl, which is also Karate Girl, or not also, but they did a spinoff. Um, and then you had uh, Salvage Mice, which was in Hiroshima. And I feel like they're trying to find that one style that is one that they can show very well, which is kind of weird when you think about Taekwondo. But... I'll let them do whatever. Um, you know, J Japanese films are really based on the spectacle as opposed to the substance. And so for them to do a film like this, it takes a lot of risk, and I, I respect them for that. I still think that uh, the Kenshin film is the one who's that's really pushed the genre forward for Japan and that the sequels are going to do just the same thing and raise that bar. I think it's going to be really, really good. But I'll give it a shot and see what I think. But uh, let, anyways... Check out the trailer. Let me know what you guys think about it. And lastly, did a review for The Wolverine. Random, I know. Um, I'm actually not that big in uh, like X-Men films or even superhero films like at all. So it's really weird for me to watch this. But for some reason, call it the trailers, call it the Japanese setting, whatever it was. I was really interested in it. Wanted to check it out. Did a review for it. But I really had no idea what's going on at all. Like, you know, everybody has stuff that they're knowledgeable on. <clears throat> X-Men, superheroes, not my thing. Like, I had to ask my girlfriend who Jean was. I still don't quite know who she is. It's awful, I know. But I get the gist of the story. You know, I know who Wolverine is. I watched some of the uh, the cartoons when I was a kid. But it just never reeled me in, I guess, as much as it has for other people. And that's totally fine. I have nothing against it. Um, I think it's one of those, the more you know about it, the uh, more entertaining it is because you have all this backstory and everything carries much more weight to it. So I get it. Hopefully you guys uh, read my review. Just take it with a grain of salt. Let me know what you guys think about it. And that is really it. Um, 
I don't know if there's really anything else I can talk about right now. Uh, hopefully you guys have been following or have noticed all these YouTubers online talking about this whole ID thing that's going on with YouTube where it's flagging all of their videos for uh, content like duplication or whatever it is. It hasn't affected me at all because honestly I, I don't monetize. I haven't monetized yet. I've been thinking about it and this kind of freaks me out about it but the thing is it makes me wonder because if you guys have been following this it's mainly affecting the gamers the the people who play the the games and do commentary or even reviews with trailers in them and that's why I'm trying to keep a close eye on it because if I want to do like these videos like that where I have uh, trailers and stuff going on in the background are they gonna flag me you know I don't want this channel to get taken down I know that it's not my primary focus but a lot of you guys watch this watch these videos because you enjoy the channel and you know if you guys don't care about the website at all that's totally fine I, I am totally okay with that so it kinda worries me to think about the fact that if I want to take everything to the next level this whole movement could set, like potentially just change how YouTube is done <clears throat> so I'm gonna be treading on very uh, I guess I'm just gonna be treading very carefully for the time being I don't know if I'm going to be doing more Let's Plays right now. I'll be honest with you. I want to. There's a lot of games that I that I purchased, um, whether it's uh, like on Steam or you know uh, in the stores that I want to play. And I've been waiting to hear back from the developers. Now I'm not even sure if I'm going to be able to do Let's Plays or not. Uh, I'm, I'm just trying to sort everything out. So stick with me. I promise I'll get it figured out. <coughs> and let you guys know as soon as I find out what's going on. Um, but for the time being, I may not do any Let's Plays. I'm still thinking about doing one. Uh, let me... I'll just start out there. Why not? I, whatever. Um, Ubisoft is one of the companies who have actually stood behind the gamers and said that they have their support and if anything happens, you know, link them their video and things like that. So Ubisoft has been really cool about that. Um, one of the games that I purchased was actually Beyond Good and Evil, which... Hopefully you guys have heard of. If not, all the more reason to play it. But it's not really a martial arts game per se, but it has a lot of martial arts elements to it, and I felt like it would be a fun game to play. If you guys want me to, I can play that game. I just don't know if I'll be able to play any games after that because I don't know what's going to happen with YouTube. But if you guys want, I can try and get it done. Um, but yeah, as of right now, I just I don't know what's going on with YouTube. Uh, we both know, or both, because <laughs> there's only one person watching this. Um, well, it may be, unless you watch it with your family, which would be kind of awkward. But, getting back on track. Um, it's, I don't even know where my track went. My train of thought just pff, derailed. Long story short, I don't know where YouTube is headed. I'm going to try my best to keep uh, an active grip on this and find out what's going on. See, see what people do, see how it affects people and kind of shape the site from, from that point on. Uh, starting in January, I do want to do some new segments uh, with this whole content thing. I don't know if I'll be able to show, you know, if I, if I want to do video reviews, if I can show actual footage. Otherwise, it's just going to be like this, where I'm just talking, and I don't want to do the same thing over and over and over again. I want to show you guys different things and do different styles. So it's just kind of right now, waiting and seeing how YouTube addresses this issue and seeing how it goes. I know this is all like political stuff and probably half of you stop watching, but that's fine. Um, you know, it's just something that if I want to take it to the next level, it's something that I have to be aware of. So I'll keep you guys posted. Um, <clears throat> I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you guys, whether you just watch these videos or, you know, whether you comment or don't. I, I do appreciate them. I, I'm honored by the fact that I get as many views as I do because I feel like it's really not worth it but I appreciate you guys I think you guys are awesome and um, that's all I really got so be sure to vote for the uh, fight of the year um, because I am still doing that and we just finished the first round of eliminations so second round's coming up and we are going to narrow those fighters down so be sure to check that out that's really all I got guys thank you guys so much for watching this and your support I'm sorry if I rambled a little bit but let me know your feedback let me know what you guys want to see um, you know if there's really this strong desire for me to do video reviews and things like that I might just say you know forget it I'm, I'm just going to do them anyways and we'll see where it goes from there so let me know what you guys think uh, the let's plays uh, if you guys like where where the site's ended now <coughs> if you want something different let me know I'm, I'm seriously trying to be 
the best that I can for you guys, and I do appreciate everything you guys do for me. So that's all I got. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. This is Kay Miller, and this week has been finished.